The left will never stop their agenda to take over America. You are their enemy, and they will not negotiate. Prepare yourselves. Welcome to the Blue Shark Show with your host, Mike Lang. I know who I work for. I work for y'all. I even work for my opponent over here. I work for him too. People, the citizens are entitled to come up here and say their piece. And we set that into our rules of decorum a couple of years ago. And when you put the citizens' comments to the end, it looks like you don't want to hear what they got to say. It looks like they mean less to you than the employees of the county, which mean a lot to us, absolutely. But the citizens pay for these employees. But I'm, hope, I'm hoping and praying that he reconsiders for the sake of the citizens out here. And I can tell you one thing, that if it happens today, come January when the commissioner's court changes, it will just put it right back. Hello, Mr. Wilson. Based on the comments and the mindset, I move that we pull it. Good old Mr. Wilson. So there's your mindset of good old Mr. Wilson putting this on the agenda. And it's the elitist mentality we talk about, you know, of the how dare you come and address me and try to attack me. I don't want to listen to it. Not only do I not want to listen to it, I don't want the employees to hear me get, you know, reamed out because I'm not doing my job. That's the state of three out of the five up here on Commissioner's Court. What strikes me the most about, about this is the tone deafness um, shown by Jack Wilson. Um, I honestly don't believe this was his idea. So then the question really becomes, who is he carrying water for? Because in our current climate, with what's going on in our nation and even in our county, citizen involvement is at an all-time high in our entire nation, in our entire county. So the whole idea of moving the citizen portion of the agenda to the end, it is so tone deaf. Again, I don't believe it was Jack's idea. Whose idea really was it? Jack, let us know. And, you know, like Eagle talked about up there, we have more people showing up to these meetings than we ever have. And here locally, we've kind of helped manifest that. I mean, the conservative movement has, you know, by Dave getting the meetings uh, on video and then us forcing the school board to get them on video, encouraging people to go speak their mind at these meetings because it does make a difference, Huge, especially yep. at the local level. And this is big government's way of trying to stop the momentum that the conservative movement has at every level of local government, city, county, and school board. And they've been successful in moving the citizens' comments to the back end uh, in the school board in the city. And now Jack Wilson is trying to do it here in Hood County. And, you know, I, I look at, and I can kind of see your take on Jack on, you know, cause he's really not his own man. He, you know, he's told what to do by the judge quite a bit and Ron, but I really think with, you know, the knowledge we have of Jack now and how he handles any type of discourse and he could fly off the handle, things like that. But when he said in his remarks that, you know, he wanted to change the rules of decorum basically because he wanted to be able to respond to personal attacks because he's the type of person that if he feels like he's being threatened, he wants to explain, you know, his side of the story and to see the rest of the show, please go over to rumble blue shark show altogether blue shark show search for blue shark show and you can see us on Rumble, where we're trying to move most of our programming now over to Rumble because they seem to be more First Amendment free than YouTube does. Patriots know YouTube sucks. So go to Rumble where they support free speech, they support patriots and conservatives, and they don't try to sh- close our mouths. And once again, that's Rumble Blue Shark Show. Thanks for watching.